kids, it's me, Shelly Grace. Do you know what time it is? Well, it's time for our favorite game show called Name That Candy. You know we love how each week our favorite contestant is just a little confused on what game he's on. He's a little mixed up on how to even play this easy game. You know, just eat the candy bar. Just name the candy, Jeff. Oh, you know how he is. Anyways, let's head on over to our favorite game show and our favorite host, Jeff Winger. What? What? Wait, that must be some sort of typo. Hey, what happened to Dana? Hey, great to see you guys. Oh, I guess you guys are just going to have to put up with this. All right, Jeff Winger. Hey, get out of here, Shelly Grace. Hi, howdy kids, and welcome to Name That Candy. I'm your host, Jeff Winger. This is the show where people try to test their knowledge of their favorite candy. So let's get to it. Please welcome today's contestant, Dana. Hello, Jeff. Well, look who it is, folks. It's Dana Wonka. Welcome to my game show, Name That Candy. Congratulations on your new job. Well, well thanks there, Dana. I, I hope I can do as good a job as you did. I guess we'll have to see. So, how do we play this game? Well, it's, uh, it's very simple, Dana. I mean, I mean, D Dana, you spin the wheel, you guess the letters, and you solve the puzzle. Well, I think, yet again, you're a little confused. That's a different game show. That's called Wheel of Fortune. That's, I mean, that's impossible. <laughs> just, just kidding, Dana. Uh, on our game show, you taste that candy. And, and then you try to guess the candy, and if you answer correctly, you win a prize. Okay, I've got this, so give me some candy. All right, here you go. Uh, good luck. Well, we all know how much I love chocolate. Tastes wow. pretty good. Simple. It's pure. Just pure chocolate. It sure is. Um. I think I know what kind it is. You know what that candy reminds me of? Really? We're still going to do this? Well, yeah, well, let me see this thing. It reminds me of what Jesus did for me when he became my savior. My heart was as unkind and grumpy as it could be because I was a sinner. But then I met Jesus. He forgave my sins and washed me white as snow. Um, but this isn't white chocolate. Anyway, this is Hershey's, um... I, I know it's not white chocolate, but it's as pure milk chocolate, as pure as snow. Just like my heart since I met Jesus. Jeff, can I please just guess the candy? Of, of course you can, Dana. What, what candy is as pure as heart that's been forgiven by Jesus? It's a oh, Hershey's. Oh, I'm sorry, Dana. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance to answer. But hey, maybe next time you can come back and try again. Oh, don't give up. You can have a second chance, just like anyone that gives his heart to Jesus. Thank you for joining us, Dana. See you next time on Name That Candy. I think I will see you on my game show called Name That Candy. Because uh, <laughs> some people do not need fancy candy bars with like that nugget filling, almonds or peanuts, a fluffy center or caramel. Some of us uh, might just like the pure milk chocolate. So today we'll learn that when we encounter Jesus, he makes our hearts pure. Our next story is about a woman who had suffered her whole life with a terrible disease. Each day it caused her great pain and sorrow. She didn't know if she'd ever be healed, but there was one thing she was sure of. She knew she needed Jesus. So let's watch now as the story unfolds, and then we'll send it over to the studio, Barbara Wawa and Shelly Grace. It, it's a Hershey's bar. I know it's a Hershey's I bar. I win. You didn't let me. I won. I finally did it. He won.
This is the story of Jesus healing Hello? a sick woman. As Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman who was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. And immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out of me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. The end. Welcome back to the studio, kids. This is such a beautiful story. I mean, not this part, but the woman had suffered her whole life with a terrible disease. Not a day went by that the disease didn't cause her great pain and sorrow. She just knew that if she touched Jesus, even just the hem of his robe, that she would be healed. The woman was healed just as she believed, and Jesus was glad to heal her. Jesus is glad to offer healing to anyone who, like this woman, believes in him. And just as Jesus made the woman's body whole and pure, Jesus can make our hearts pure too. Hey kids, imagine if you got a bad report card at school and that things weren't going so well in class for you. And no matter what you did, you couldn't get good grades. You get a C here, a B here, a D there. And by the end of the grading period, your report card was not so good and you dreaded the thought of having to take that home. Then your teacher asks you to come to her desk. She tells you that she knows that you had a rough time and couldn't get the grades that you had hoped for, no matter how hard she started trying. But instead of sending you home with a less than happy report card, she wipes it clean. She erases every C and every D and she replaces them all with A's. Wow, that's the difference Jesus makes in our lives. He does the impossible by taking away our sin. He makes us brand new and washes us pure as snow. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death and that that's separation from God, but God sent Jesus to save us from our sin. Just like how pure the Hershey bar, the chocolate bar is, God can make even God can make us even more pure than that. He can take all that junk out of our life and make us holy and clean. Just invite him to become your savior. Then God will give us a pure heart. Mm. Well, kids, this has been another really important and great lesson. Oh, hey, you know what? We are getting near the end of our yummy series, show, Grace. Mm. Yes, it's we coming are. up quick, yeah. Mm. So, from all of us here in News Channel 7, we all need Jesus. And maybe a little bit of chocolate. I should have known she would say something like that.